Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and today we are going to be looking at this gorgeous Bible. Okay, so I was very kindly gifted this Bible by one of my lovely subscribers. So the Bible that she gifted me, she knows I love pink and rose gold, and this Bible could not be more beautiful. So it's called the Thrive Devotional Bible for Women, and it comes in this lovely gift box. And this is in the NLT version of the Bible, which is probably my most favourite translation. It's called the New Living Translation. And I think it's one of the easiest versions of the Bible to read, which is why I enjoy reading it so much. I wish you could feel this Bible, it's just so silky smooth. But yes, so it comes in this beautiful rose gold shiny cover and it has Thrive written across. I don't know if this, I'm hoping this lighting is going to pick it up properly. But it has this gorgeous pattern that goes all the way around it, like that. Is this not just the most stunning thing ever? And on the spine, it tells us that it is a devotional Bible for women. And just to top it off, creme de la creme, pink leafing on the edges. So it's just like this big brick of rose gold. It's so gorgeous. Now, disclaimer, if you are not a girly girl, if you do not like pink, the colour pink, avert your eyes, click out, because this is the pinkest Bible you ever did see. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get close up for you. Okay. So, when you get on the inside cover, it is this beautiful kind of peach shade. Then we have our presentation page, which quotes Isaiah 12 verse 2, which says, The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me the victory. And then it has Psalm 23 here, which is, The Lord is my shepherd, I have all I need. It's that psalm, which is just the most beautiful psalm to have quoted in the beginning of your Bible. And then it has a message from Cherie, or Sherry Rose, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And it is a message about being a beloved daughter of the King. Pause the video here if you'd like to read that. And then it also gives us some more encouragement here. And then you have the front cover. And then it goes into the contents page here. I usually will pop a little tab here so that I can flip straight to this page so I can find books of the Bible easier. And then it also has my favourite, which is the alphabetical listing of the Bible book. So you can find books super quick without having to search through this list, especially if you don't know if it's Old or New Testament. When it's in alphabetical order, you can just quickly find the name of the book that way. And it has a little note to the readers. It tells us who contributed to this Bible. And then it has an introduction to thrive, which is really encouraging. And it just talks about God's plan for you is that you will thrive by having a deep relationship with him, turning to him every day and relying on him for each need. So it just gives you a user's guide there to this Bible. And as you can see, this is a devotional Bible. So it does have lots of little extra pieces to it. It's not just the word of God. It has a lot of additions to it. Okay, another really cool thing about this Bible is that it has a reading plan. So don't worry if you pick up this Bible and it is February the 17th, for example, because you can just start reading in February the 17th. And then when you finish the year, you can just come back to January and continue down until you get back to February the 17th. And sometimes I read more than is suggested. So I just go down and tick rather than kind of sticking to each day. I just tick down as I've read it. And it doesn't really matter if you don't stick to the dates as long as you're kind of following the plan and you know that you've read the whole Bible. And if we look here, it starts in the Old Testament. But then once you get to Kings, it doesn't go into Chronicles. It goes to Ezra, then Nehemiah. So it's not just following the Bible from beginning to end. It is kind of jumping around a little bit, which is which keeps things more interesting. Then you have this topical index to features, which is really useful. So if you are struggling with anger or someone you know is, you can come to this section and be like, okay, here's some passages that will hopefully help me with that. If you need comfort, don't worry, it's got you covered. If you want to read about faith, here you go. If you want to read about the creation, there you are. If you want to read about doubt, don't worry, we've got all this here. So I love these topical indexes because they really do just give you all different kinds of topics that, that you can read about and study in a little bit more depth. So I'll just show you an example of that. So say, say we were looking at relationships and there's one here called Never Alone on page nine. So we'll just do that one because it's super easy to find. 
Okay, so this is an example of what that would look like. And then it gives you a Bible verse and a devotion about that, a time to reflect, and then something you can ponder for the rest of the day. So there's a little bit on the topical index for you. Then we have an index to profile. So if you're interested in any of these Bible characters, you can go to any of these pages and they'll give you some more information about them. So say we're interested in Paul, we can go to page 1360. And then at the bottom of the page, it just has a little section about Paul and just gives you a little bit of his character there. So these are really handy tools just to help us, especially when you're starting out as a Christian and you're new to the Bible. These are really useful sections to have. Okay, so this just gives you an introduction to the particular translation. Because the Bible comes in all different kinds of translations. And then we jump into the Old Testament. So it has a pink page with flowers on. And then it gives you a little bit of context at the top of the book, which I find super useful. It sets the scene for you. So you're not just kind of jumping in and wondering where or when this book was written and set. You have a little bit of background there. And then it goes into the Bible. You don't have a great deal of space to kind of make notes, but you can do lots of lovely highlighting in here and stick post notes in with any notes that you might want to make. And you can see as you go through, it has lovely little sections for you. So this one is a little prayer that you could say. And then it has devotionals, another little prayer, another devotional, another little prayer, a little section on Eve and her character, another devotional. So this Bible is just jam-packed with information for you to help your Bible reading. Because it is a devotional Bible, it does have a lot of devotions in here, so you just work your way through them. And at the end of each devotion, it tells you where the next one is, so you don't kind of get lost off. It tells you which page to go to. And this, and this Bible is just jam-packed with all of these wonderful things to help you on your way. And then when you get right to the back of the Bible, there isn't anything extra. There's no note pages or anything like that. It just finishes at the end of Revelation. And that is the end of the Bible. I think this Bible would be such a wonderful gift to a new Christian believer who loves the colour pink or rose gold. <laughs> This Bible has so much useful stuff in for new believers, for people who are just starting out with their Bible study, anyone who loves a good devotional. I really think this Bible would be perfect for you if that is you. If you have a daughter who is going off to university or college and wants a beautiful Bible to take with her, highly, highly recommend this one. And the fact that it comes in this protective case as well, it's perfect to travel with too. So let me know your thoughts on this Bible in the comments section. What do you think of it? And I would just like to say thank you again to Gail for giving me this Bible. I really appreciate it and it is such a gorgeous one to add to my collection. So thank you so much again. Thank you to you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you've enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.